These were the angels who first rebelled against God, bound in the second heaven. Now, the third heaven is where paradise is, but right across from it is where you would also find hell. The fourth heaven is all about the sun and the moon. Now, in the fifth heaven, there's countless massive beings, also known as the Grigori. They were in this state of perpetual sadness because these were actually the Watchers. See, they once came down to earth and defiled themselves with women, so they are now waiting for judgment alongside the Prince of Rebellion himself. In the sixth heaven, that's where you have all your cherubim, your seraphim, your phoenixes, and all those guys. In the seventh heaven, there's these angels with a whole bunch of eyes. I think they're the Ophanim. Now the eighth heaven controls and changes the seasons. Ninth heaven has a bunch of constellations, but when Enoch finally gets into the 10th heaven, that's when he sees God face to face. See, Enoch says how God's face is marvelous, but also very awful, like very, very, Terrible. <laughs>